expression. She talks with her hands, which is really just describing someone who uses a lot of gestures when talking. Pointing, shrugging, and a thumbs up are all examples of gestures. Each of these gestures conveys some kind of message used to communicate with someone. Wouldn't it be amazing if your baby could use gestures to communicate with you? Well, guess what? They can. Welcome to module five, talk with your hands, where you will learn to help your baby communicate with you by teaching them to use gestures. Remember our module on imitation? Your child needs to watch you use gestures before they can use them. That means in order to teach your baby gestures, you must first increase how often you gesture. You can do this by pointing to what you're talking about, clapping, or blowing kisses when interacting with your child. You can also add sign language, baby sign, or just make up a gesture with your hands, sort of like charades with your hands, to represent an object or action when you are talking. Now that you've increased your gestures, it's time to get your baby using gestures. Start with some simple gestures for everyday needs that are relevant to your baby. Some examples of both made up and real gestures are rubbing your belly for hungry, squeezing your hand like you are a cow udder for milk, swiping your hands in front of you for all done, or holding up your arms for hold me. Once you pick a gesture to represent a word, don't change it. Then encourage your baby to use the gesture in three easy steps. Step one, make the sign and say the corresponding word you want your child to use. And then give about five seconds of wait time to see if your child will make the sign after you. Step two, if they do not make the sign, guide your child's hands to make the sign for them. Step three, make the sign and say the word yourself again. Regardless of if your child does or does not imitate the sign after you, give them what they want right away. This way they learn that a sign communicates a message and usually gets them something they want. All done. All done. All done. That's right. All done. You may have heard that using sign language with your baby will delay their speech and language development, but I want to assure you there is absolutely no research to support that claim. In fact, researchers actually show the opposite. Researchers compared gesture use showed that children whose parents started using signs with them when they were babies had better language skills when they were two and three years old compared to children whose parents did not sign with them as babies. In a longitudinal study, these same children had 12 point higher verbal IQs compared to the non-signing group. Gestures really are powerful. By increasing your child's early gesture use, you can significantly improve your child's ability to learn to say the word, increase their vocabulary, support cognitive development, and set them up for later academic success.